شغل دست دارم. Assalamualaikum Assalam. Alhamdulillah. How are you? I made it first. करो जबरदस्त ऐसे ना खराब हो जब बाद में कर लेना ना उस टाइम बना लूँगी आप लोगों ने ये पोल का डॉट्स भी अच्छी लगाई हैं ये बहुत प्यारा बना हुआ है हाँ ना ये कल था ये इसको टर्न करोगे ना जब बाद में रेशन करोगे तो कोशिश तो कर रही हूँ Yes. 
Okay. Uh, it, it is basically a 
write the name, but we are using, for example, a uh, speaker is using this uh, word "yule" as a reference, and he is saying, "Can you pass me that yule?" So here he is not talking about the person; he is talking about that uh, the specific book that is written by him. So it is uh, all depend upon the listener how do you share a common ground. Maybe they both uh, are the students of literature. So In our daily life, we use certain sort of sentences that carry different meanings based on their context. So that's what indication is. Indication actually refers to the meaning that is referred or inferred by a speaker, even though it is not explicitly mentioned in the article. We have certain language, and you can get the idea of reference from Amla. Assalamualaikum. My name is Amla Nil, and I am from Amla. And I will discuss. For example, if we are talking about the research, we take different, we take references. Different article books, books just to support your, just to support your points and better. And next one is over here. Uh, the boy is sitting in a restaurant having a, some coffee, and he says to the waiter that can I get some milk? So here it is carries the literal meaning and the implication. Its literal meaning is a coffee cup with milk. Like maybe the boy wants um, the cup of.